r slash murdered by words, a subreddit dedicated to the most brutal, vicious, and deplorable verbal beatdowns that you'll see on the internet. As a man, why are you even okay with ordering a fruity or mixed drink? Because fruit is tasty? If I want it salty or bitter, I just have a conversation with you. Ooh, on point, direct. Oh my God, he read you like a book. You are transparent, he saw straight through you. I swear, people who have these galaxy brain takes on masculinity are just projecting. It is such a insight into people who are like, oh, you ordered a mixed drink, you're just not masculine. You have problems and you're determined on not solving them. So that's why you put this stuff online. You put this stuff on Twitter because you, you desperately need a therapist. Here is my completely unvaccinated boy, so happy and content with fully functioning immune system working how it should be without being compromised. That's a nice immune system he has there. It'd be a shame if measles infected his macrophages, silenced his dendritic cells, and killed his memory cells, wiping out his learned immunity. You ought to give your child the best chance to survive, especially against a historic disease that's wiped out humanity countless times. Chicken pox at eight years old and shingles around 38 years. I'm still living, no need to vaccinate. One of my mates got hit by a car, he lived. I guess we don't need any of those pesky road safety laws. Untreated shingles is an awful thing. I can't imagine the pain that you put yourself through because you didn't get the vaccine. Just spare yourself the trouble and get the medicine that's been reviewed and researched to be safe. Look at the research yourself, it's available online. One Google search. One, just, just the one. A one year study of Vietnamese youth who built their own Bugatti out of clay mud. They don't have better things to do. What better things have you achieved? You're the one who's watching their work. No one's watching your work. It's pretty impressive to make a model out of clay anyway, especially an exotic sports car. That's worth recognizing. I don't know what this guy was trying to get at. What better things could they be doing? Let us all know because we're all confused. Peloton convinced rich people to pay $2,000 for a bike and pay $20 to $30 a month to use it, and they still failed as a business. I mean, we're all buying $1,000 phones and pretty much pay a subscription a month just to have a service to use it. Same concept. The fact that you tweeted this from a phone instead of a Peloton maybe is why they failed. Females can't help but display their sexuality even when it limits the range of motion in public safety jobs. Is she supposed to leave her ass at home? Wear her go to work? <clears throat> like, what? If anything, the fact that she's caked up goes to show that maybe she goes to the gym and probably can actually stop a criminal. I swear, man, people just say anything online. They just say anything about anyone and genuinely think that they're gonna get away with it. But no, everybody's reading, bro. Everybody's reacting and someone's going to air you out. Um, Elon Musk spent $44 billion on Twitter. The world's population is 8 billion. He could have given each person $5 billion and still have money left over. I feel like a check for 5 billion would be life changing for most people. Yet he wasted it all on Twitter. For the love of God and all that is holy, women have worked so hard to be respected for their ability to do math. And you set us back 50 years with one tweet. Thanks. Thanks for that. I love tweets like this because it's not just women who are making bad math takes. It's everybody. It's everybody when any sort of billionaire spends any sort of money on anything. All of a sudden, everybody's allowed to get a check because they just have so much money. I swear, most of this could be easily solved with a calculator that's on your phone. Let the phone do the thinking for you and you'll realize quickly that your wealth redistribution plan isn't going to pay out as much money as you think it will. I feel weird. I enjoyed Morbius more than everything everywhere. Is there a new virus going around? <laughs> yeah, no, there isn't a new virus. COVID makes you lose your taste. Hopefully your taste comes back. There were so many people on Twitter who genuinely liked the movie Morbius and thought that the whole meme were people agreeing with them. Like, no, we were, we're laughing at you and the movie. Both of you guys are getting clowned. The fact that anybody genuinely enjoyed that film is baffling. We don't do NFTs. If you see a Cyanide and Happiness NFT, that wasn't us. If you bought a Cyanide and Happiness NFT, you got scammed. Excuse me, I don't know why you had to add the also lol at the end there. People shouldn't glorify vulnerable people being scammed. 
you got me messed up. NFT bros losing money is funnier than any of our comics. Oh my god, Justin Bieber, he is the most beautiful human being ever. Wow. You can literally drive to your local gas station and find at least three people that look like this. And one of those people is working behind the counter, bro. I guarantee it. And if you ask nicely, they'll sell you some weed. So I'm pumping gas and all I hear is got and then another man says yeah man I said the same thing and I'm acting like I don't hear neither one ma'am gas is four dollars a gallon and you think they were talking about you Ooh, it's actually five dollars a gallon now and now people are just walking places but I, I digress yeah you genuinely thought people were talking about you no 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 people were talking about the gas People were talking about how a normal day's wages is not enough to afford gasoline right now. Ma'am, you're simply not that special. There's other things commanding people's attention right now. Imagine a grown balding man spending his life making whiny passive aggressive videos on a kid's app. Hi from Miami. I love it here. Kid's app? It appears your perception of TikTok has warped because 60% of the people you follow are yo ho ho oh oh. You'd be surprised how many accounts exclusively follow teen dance accounts and how many of those accounts project a lot, if you're catching what I'm throwing. Whiteness is an unrelenting demonic force of evil. Aren't you the minister who drives the Bentley to church and uses private driveway to avoid journalists and homeless people? The one with several girlfriends in rotation? Yes, please continue about how bad things are. That statement, whiteness is an unrelenting demonic force of evil, is incredibly racist, but for some reason that's permissible because it's pointed in a specific direction. Imagine if that said blackness. Twitter would not only take down the post, but probably the person's account too. It took me 19 years to figure out news stands for notable events, weather, and sports. No! That's not even how acronyms work. The first two words, notable events, is together. So they wouldn't be separate on the acronym. It, that's not how that works. Who told you this? TikTok? I, it, it was probably TikTok. Y'all need to come out with disability bears. Deaf, amputee, wheelchair, ADHD slash ADD, epilepsy, blind with seeing eye dog, and autism. My list can go on. Hold up. Humor me. Tell me how my ADHD is going to be represented by a plush animal. As an epileptic, how exactly do I want a bear to represent epilepsy? Push a button and make it convulse? Bring back masculine men. Bro, you have the same haircut as my grandma. Sit down. If I see the word gaslight one more time, I might get off the internet forever. Seriously. You're not even seeing it that much. It's all in your head. What are you talking about? I mean, every time you talk about gaslighting, it's crazy. You're lying. You're crazy. You're a crazy person. Crypto bros yesterday versus crypto bros today. Don't laugh too much, you're going to fall too. Do you own that monkey picture? Bruh, Ryan Air needs to chill. These guys are already in the depths. They're already at bedrock. They've lost their entire houses. They've lost their life savings, self-respect. You, you, gotta, you gotta let up. You can't keep punching them. They're already down. Hey, why are you so sad? There's so much goodness in the world. Just smile. I don't know, Sarah. Why do you have asthma? There's so much air in the world. Breathe. Breathe in and out without choking. Lunar eclipses are so unspectacular that if nobody told you what was happening to the moon, you'd probably not notice at all. Just saying. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Neil. Neil, if Wendy's is making fun of you, it's time to change how you act on Twitter. Please don't be a killjoy. We all know that lunar and solar eclipses are natural and normal and super mundane, but the whole world just likes to be joyful about <laughs> Let us be happy about one thing. When girls go out wearing tiny, tight, skimpy outfits, I mean, they have the choice to wear something else, something really less provocative, so really girls are asking for it. If you're out in public and I see you're not wearing any protective headgear, does that give me the right to smash in your skull with a hammer? I mean, you asked for it, since you're not wearing something to protect your head. My dad just subbed to my OnlyFans, tipped me $100, that's how you support your child's business. Let's be real here, he just wants to bump up her business so she'll move out and stop taking pictures of her asshole in his spare bedroom. That could be a sweet man cave instead. To retire at 65, millennials will need to save nearly half of their paycheck. I guess they better start planning and saving, stop spending and spending. Yeah, with rent being 25-60% to 60 of my income and student loans that I have to pay off and the health insurance that comes out of my paycheck and the vehicle maintenance and the groceries I have to buy, not to mention being required to continue education courses and license renewals required for those of us in the healthcare industry, the last $50 I have at the end of each month will guarantee that I can retire by the time I'm 65. Good call! 
What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aileris, a.k.a. Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. You're going to get content from Monday to Friday. Five pieces of content this week. I know you guys are looking forward to all of that. We have two new subreddits this week that I hope you guys really enjoy. And during this entire week, I will have a post in the community tab that is really important. I'm noticing that you guys are really enjoying the Morbid Reality content, and I really want to bless y'all. So I put in the community tab right here a poll that asks a simple question. Do you want a marathon week of Morbid Reality content on this channel? Do you want Monday to Friday slam packed full of Morbid Reality? content do you want that yes or no let me know in the poll in the community tab it'll be up there for the entire week and if it's predominantly yes then it'll be happening next week monday through friday nothing but morbid reality content so if you're interested go ahead and vote and as always we gotta thank the patreon supporters for making content like this possible a big thank you to buckethead samantha bellhart admin av 8 harrier 2 plus swag daddy 69 zach f Darth Titan, Fafnir Stuff, Keely, Dunder Has Hawk, Caroline Banana, A Generic Fox Fur, Viva LaRue, Julian, Benny's Big Bean Burrito, Nobs, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss Patreon User, Muffy Lou Who, Noah, John Robinson, and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one in my merch store and one in my Patreon. Both funds go really into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.